Hi, everybody. This is uh, Silvio Canto in Dallas, Texas on Saturday, May the 12th, and welcome to our video commentary. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about Cuba and what is happening in Cuba. As you may remember, when President Obama changed our policy toward Cuba, uh, he relaxed uh, travel to Cuba and to some degree investments in Cuba. And the Cuban government saw this opportunity as a way of bringing thousands of American tourists to the island. And these tourists, of course, would come to Cuba, they would invest in Cuba, they would spend their money in Cuba. And as a net result, uh, Cuba would have, you know, a few billion dollars a year to benefit from the tourism. There's no question that at first uh, there was a great deal of curiosity about Cuba. A lot of people wanted to see Cuba. Cuba, after all, had been pretty much isolated for 50 years or so. So many Americans went to Cuba. It was a curiosity thing. Well, let's see Cuba. Let's see Havana. Let's see the 1950s cars in Havana, that kind of thing. And it worked for a little bit. But then that's where the problems began. The American tourists began to realize that Cuba does not have a tourism infrastructure. There's not enough hotel rooms. Uh, there's not enough of a variety of hotel rooms. I mean, basically, they're very expensive or they're very uh, low quality. I mean, so there isn't that middle ground, if you will, that sort of variety of hotels that, let's say, you have in Mexico or in Jamaica or other places where American tourists uh, go to. So a lot of Americans went to Cuba and they began to tell me, for example, that they went to Cuba, but uh, they weren't really that happy that uh, uh, they liked the Cuban people, but it was not a fun experience. Another thing, too, that I heard from a couple of people is that when they went to Cuba and they could see for themselves many of the problems that the Cuban people were facing because they could walk around and see the, you know, the homes that people were living in and they could see the terrible conditions that a lot of Cubans were living in, if you will, behind uh, the curtains and behind uh, all of the hotels. So here we are, 2018, and the American tourists came, they saw, and they're not coming back. The latest figures that we have of Cuban tourism, these are Cuban figures, uh, is that tourism is down 40%, that a lot of Americans are simply not going back. There was that curiosity, but you know, after that curiosity is over, they're not going back. And this is, of course, presenting a serious cash problem for the Cuban government because tourism is really the only industry of consequence that they have uh, to generate uh, dollars. I mean, Cuba does export some minerals. It exports sugar and all of that. But that's, uh, I mean, that's always been there. Uh, but that's not like tourism where you can be all of a sudden bringing in all this cash and all these Americans who are leaving a lot of cash behind. Well, here we are. There's been a drop in tourism. And of course, as I said, this is going to present a terrible cash problem for the Cuban government because nobody's going to subsidize them. For years, this is an economy that has been accustomed to somebody subsidizing it. That cannot happen anymore. And if the American tourists don't come, I don't see how in the world they, you know, I don't know how they survive because that's all they have at the moment is the American tourist. Uh, they were hoping that the American tourists would bail them out but uh, it hasn't turned out that way. Very interesting situation down in Cuba. Well, we have all of these videos over at YouTube. We have them on Twitter and we have them on my blog. I want to say Happy Mother's Day to all the ladies, all the mothers, all the grandmothers, all the mothers expecting, all the mothers out there. Happy Mother's Day and have a great weekend, everybody. Bye-bye.